What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 101. Merry Christmas. If you can't tell, I have had a crazy year. Will it send it? Oh! Yeah! Summer's been nuts, fall's been nuts, it was a great time. I'm finally done with college, I'm settling into a job. Bought a real gun, built a new airsoft one, this is a little bit, but this is just a sneak peek of the new one that I'm finishing. I'm um, shooting a lot of real seal as well. But, big announcement, I'm going to be giving away five of these hoodies at the end of the second video. These are new Alec Mac 101 hoodies, I got the merch. We also got patches, so everything's kind of been in plan. Um, I have like 200 patches and stuff, so in the merch shelf will be under these videos. You can get these hoodies. I think they're like 30 bucks, which is pretty affordable. They're really nice, really high quality material. I'll do a whole product video on them later. And then I also got patches. So thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sticking with me. I know it's been a lot. I'm gonna try and upload more consistently. Hope you guys had a wonderful Merry Christmas. This is probably going up at like one or 2 a.m. because I'm just gonna start editing this and it's a long video. It's gonna be two or three parts. This is literally the biggest unboxing I have ever done. But Merry Christmas, Jesus is the reason for the season. You guys are awesome. Thanks for sticking with it. Looks like about eight feet. Now granted, there is a table. However, I did not stack all of these end on end. That would probably reach the top of my house. All right, I guess this is what happens when I have not been home for a month. For those of you that didn't know, have not been following my Instagram, Alec underscore McLean. I led a ministry training opportunity, which was super cool. I got to spend the last month in Pennsylvania. And while I was gone, all of these showed up at my house. So I do still like buy, sell and trade no matter kind of where I'm at. But if you guys want to know what's going on, if you don't see a lot of videos, Instagram's a really good way to do that. And I also started an Alec Mac one on Instagram. But those things aside, let's get into the video. Vertical, not the greatest vertical. I can almost touch the top. All right, this is more manageable. We're going to start out actually with some heat. So I've wanted one of these for a long, long time. I actually was part of the demo team for testing these at Broken Home, American Milson Broken Home 4, I think. I think they're on like Broken Home 8 now. So this is a Z-Shot American PTW. I never ended up getting one while I worked there. Um, they were a little bit more expensive then and I just didn't have money. Obviously I was in high school or I guess I was in like high school, end of high school slash beginning of college. So I was broke, I mean, I'm still kind of broke, but I have enough money now that I've worked for so long that I can kind of get some of this. So I bought, sold and traded and I ended up being able to trade for one of these. So this is one of the challenge kits. That means it basically comes like this. I do need a cylinder. This is from my other system of PTW, um, but this cylinder I think has some issues in it. Um, Stampede told me that because it was dented and stuff, it takes like probably like 10 shots to seal. So I'm gonna buy a new cylinder I'm gonna contact Nelson from Z-Shot, um, hopefully buy a new cylinder. But this is the upper LMT, legit upper 10.3 inch. I'm gonna put my old rail system on it, I think. Haven't completely decided, it'll be a little bit long and I'll have to get some sort of like amplifier to make it come through. But if it can come through just a little bit, I think it'll look really cool or maybe I'll throw a suppressor in there um, and get like a really cool front build look. So this is the lower LMT upper. Um, I think this is just a standard build lower, the CNC lower, and then they have Z-Shot internals. Um, the full specs are on their website. I'm just super excited to mess around with this. I loved my PTW, um, my other one. I love this one too, but I'm excited to play with one of these because I got to demo one of these. I got to shoot one of these out of a helicopter. One of my videos was really cool. Um, I got to shoot full auto with one of the first prototypes that were ever built. I think one of the first three American PTWs that were ever built, and it was just super, super cool. In this trade, I also got some night vision. So this is a, I think this is a Sightmark 1x40 or 1x28. Um, this is the Ghost Hunter. I had another one of these, I actually just sold it. So I got this one in the trade as well. And then this has some sort of Butler Creek front end. I'm not super knowledgeable when it comes to nods. This is um, some sort of mount. I don't think this is, my other one was like the Rhino. I'm not sure exactly which mount this is, but I'll probably end up just selling or trading this because I don't use much night vision. I just have not ever used that. It does work on my helmet. I tried the other one. It looked pretty cool. Just kind of sitting there with a monocle. However, I'm not playing enough airsoft events that are night oriented. There's pretty much none that happen in Ohio. There used to be some, so I don't really need night vision anymore. All right, item number two is also heat. I bought this from the last GMR drop. 
um, and I have not, this was a while ago, this is one of the Gen 3 mini maps. I don't think I threw this in any video, I bought this. Um, I've kind of been hanging on to it. I end up trading for another one. I also got this one. This is the one that I have been using on my backpack. I really liked the black, but then I also found this one. I thought this was super cool. So I traded my friend Finn and he wrote me a note, which was pretty cool. Um, wrote me a note. I love it when you guys, when we trade or do unboxing stuff and you guys write stuff. So Finn wrote me a note. I've been using this because I think this just matches the multicam a lot better. It's two desert color um, designs. This is the desert or this is the tiger stripe and desert, kind of what they used to use in Nam. Um, but this is the desert tiger stripe and i really really like how this looks with the multi-cam it blends in the black was cool but it just kind of sat there and i think it's really cool still and i wanted to get this is my first gmr drop that i ever got about this one and then i bought the aor2 one um, but i really really like how this looks on my plate carrier up next are some tough one grips so i have repped this company for a long long time i got a bunch of different colors and all the different variants i think there's like four different design patterns that they have i love these i run these on literally every single gun i have i run them on a real ar-15 i run them on all my airsoft guns they're one of the coolest things and i am actually sponsored by them so i am able to get you guys 10 percent off the link is in the description i don't really get any kickback or anything i just really like the company um, and i support them wholeheartedly they're a local company from Dayton, Ohio. They're like an hour for me. Really, really good people. Um, and I just love their products. And they did send me all these for free. So I just I just love them. I just really appreciate them. And I've run these on my guns, I think, for like four-ish years now. So this isn't just something like, oh, hey, we're going to give you some of these. I really do appreciate their company. Sophomore year in college is when I started working with them. I found out that they were based in Dayton. I was like, yo, like, hey, this is super cool. We can work together. I love running these on my guns. And I've actually given a lot of these away to you guys that are subscribers. If some of my friends are like, yo, that's kind of cool. I have extras in my backpack, so I'll whip them out. So I probably won't use any of these. I'll probably just give them away to you guys. All right, up next from Dallas, Carol. I'm going to be honest with some of these things I have traded. It's been so long ago that I traded. I'm not exactly sure which things these are. I'm trying to go quicker. So we will find out together as I open them. Uh, here is a FCU. Oh, this is one of the Polar Stars. So we're starting out with absolute heat. Um, here is the Crytac Defiance Upper. I think this is the whole upper. And then the lower... Ooh, Man, that looks good. Dude, the, the VFC Burnt Bronze lowers are absolutely gorgeous. I can't even remember which gun I traded this for. I think I traded this for another HPA gun, or I traded it for one of my really big AGs. This was one I traded, I think it was like a month ago. But this is so, so, so cool. It does have another upper in here as well. I got this separately, I believe. I don't think these are together. I lied, there's nothing else in there. So this uh, Crytek lowers mu and uppers must fit together. I did not know that the VFC QRS system and their Crytax fit together, but it looks like they fit perfectly. It is just the Crytax rail system. This is the Defiance rail system. This is one of the Airsoft Junkies uppers, which I believe is VFC spec. So Crytax and VFC, I didn't think they fit together, but I wasn't sure. I believe this is a Gen 2 Revision 3, Revision 2 engine. I'm not 100% sure. Got the cool Crytax flash hider. This is from one of the LVOAs. Got the T1 up here. And then he included the FCU and the FCU battery as well. And this is a pretty nice amp line. It's a little bit worn, but I love Polar Star stuff. I have been rocking my new Polar Star. I'm hopefully going to go play this week. And that thing has just been shooting laser. Sure shot midget hooked me up for sure all right next up some of you may be excited about this i've been getting a ton of comments on my hundred thieves stuff so i went ahead and bought it on the last release this is one of the hundred thieves anoraks this is the geography anorak i only was able to get one of these but i was able to get three of the tri-color hoodies so these are super super dope i love hundred thieves they won the last two call of duty tournaments i've been a big fan ever since they shot started i love call of duty for those of you who don't know i play a lot of black ops 4 i think i'm like prestige master 471 i actually played with two of you last night but i love call of duty love 100 thieves and so i went ahead and bought out some of you might think this is cool but some of you are like that's not airsoft get on to the next one so i will but those are just way too cool not to show you guys next up this is a high cap that i actually bought off of ebay i got a pretty good deal on this and so it is an airsoft masterpiece upper um this is a 4.3 it was one of the uh limited not the limited edition it's like the the black and silver lower um, and it has a ton of upgrades. I'm gonna throw the upgrade parts list on the screen. There's a ton of upgrades in this thing. I was super hyped. Like, I've never had one that was pretty much built from the ground up. It did have the lower that came from one of the TM guns, but everything else has been, been pretty much added. This is a super sweet lower. I really like how this looks. Got all the internal upgrades, got buffers. Um, it's got an upgraded blowback unit. It's got an upgraded hop-up, upgraded barrel, upgraded outer barrel, upgraded inner barrel, upgrading bucking. Everything on this is pretty much aftermarket, which is pretty cool. Got a uh, 
harder recoil spring, and this thing shoots absolute lasers. It hops like a point. 3.2 gram BB perfectly, like 150 feet. I've been using two fives, but the guy that I bought it from is like, yo, use .3s, that's pretty good happy medium. He said he's hopped all the way up to like .4s. And so this thing is crazy. Obviously you're gonna have some sort of FPS drop with that. But for me, I am super happy with this. I'm gonna run probably two fives in it because that's find like a good happy medium, good FPS with TM stuff, but it also reaches out and touches people. But this thing was shooting when I, I've only shot up one mag out of it so far because I just got it right before I left and it was in a box and I was like, yo, this, is absolutely dope. I think this looks gorgeous. Hopefully you guys can see that in some of the close-ups, but I am super, super excited for this pistol. Up next, we have another box. I think this is from Evike. Yes, from Evike. I actually don't know. I have two or three mystery boxes that I bought. One was the 4th of July. One was maybe the Father's Day. So I am not sure at all which is in this one. I also bought some of the open box mystery boxes, but we're about to find out together. Um, this is... Memorial Day. Oh, this is the FNX. I did buy this. This is a Memorial Day Sarah. So this is the FNX. It does not come with a magazine. However, in one of the other boxes that I got, I ended up buying the magazine. They had like a magazine only or a gun only deal. And I've never bought one of these. I think I've owned one or two of these, but I was like, man, wait, it did come with a magazine. What? The deal said it was not coming with a magazine. So I bought this. I think this was like $110. I'll put it exactly up on the screen. I only bought this for like 110. It wasn't supposed to come with the magazine. I don't think so. I bought another magazine, which will come in one of the other videos, but this deal said it didn't come with a magazine. So I guess I got an absolute steal on this. Dude, they just feel so good pistol wise. I am actually gonna buy a real Glock. You'll see something else I got for that later in the video. But if I were not buying one and these were a little bit more affordable, this would definitely be a real steel pickup for sure. Love the raised iron sights. Love the feel of the pistol. It's got a really cool angle on the grip. But enough, enough gawking after this. Let's get into the next one. Up next is a KDB pistol. I've never actually owned one of these before. I've owned a lot of KDB pistols. But this is the TT33. Um, pretty cool. It's a Russian pistol. I These are like one of the most affordable KDB pistols. Sure Shot Midget isn't super impressed with them. But they're like... 80 100 i think they're like under a hundred dollars and for a kw pistol they have really good build quality they aren't the greatest they're bucking swell really easily which i'm not sure why hopefully this one isn't this one is pretty good condition like i said most of the stuff i get is in pretty good condition but this is a cool little gun these are the other two things i got in that i bought this collection from a guy he actually was from cincinnati he delivered to me this is a crytac lvoa you probably recognize these got a really nice valken red dot acog style sight on there um like i said another one that's in pretty good condition he said he used it like two or three times, but he included that. He included the pistol. And then I really like to buy stuff off Craigslist. Um, I like to buy guys that are like getting out of the sport because they have a lot of stuff and they're off for like willing to do it. Um, this is a safe face goggles. These are like the Valken Zulu tacticals or whatever. Um, he included, he has 30 round beta magazines. I have not seen these magazines. These are literally like the real magazines. I, who I like, unless you're really milsim, using 30 rounds in a mag in airsoft is so hard, but he has 10 of these. Um, also included some other, this is a GNG high cap, GNG high cap, another mag brand mid cap. Uh, another mag brand mid cap and then he included two batteries and then he also said at the end he was just throwing this in this is a trigicon rmr a real one i he said it was real i don't know 100 percent if i believe it it's honestly too good to be true i have looked at it i was like there's no way he sent me a real one um but i looked at this, this is the first thing i looked at as soon as i got home and it's apparently a real armor i'm not 100 percent sure if it's real or whatnot i'm gonna look at it but if it is real it's like a 500 dollars optic and so I'm gonna buy one of the base plates um, for the RMR and put this on my rear Glock when I buy it in like a month or so. But if this is real, that's so, so cool. Um, he's older, so he doesn't watch airsoft stuff, but he said, yeah, I have an extra one of these. And I told him I was a YouTuber and that I was buying stuff for collections. But I think I might've gotten a real Trigicon. It seems pretty real, it includes the sticker. Everything looks pretty real. I'm gonna check the serial number, maybe take it into like Vance's in Columbus to make sure it is real. But everything seems pretty good and it's not really that Chinese language. It's, it's like, seems like it's pretty good English from what I read, but I couldn't believe it. So I had my dad check it out when it, when the box out here got here like a week, week and a half ago when I was still in Pennsylvania. Um, and he doesn't know for sure, but I think it's real. So that's literally one of the coolest things. Thanks to that dude. He'll probably never watch his video because he's like 50 something, um, but he's hooking me up. Up next is a box from Mark King. I actually have traded with this guy quite a few times. We trade here and there. He'll be like, yo, you got something cool. He's also really, really good at packing stuff. Unfortunately, too good. All right. He individually wrapped everything, but I think I got through most of it. So there's that. The some people wrap stuff horribly, as you'll see in one of the other boxings, and literally parts are falling out. Some dudes are the best wrappers in the history of the world. So up here, this is an Elite Force 1911. I've actually never had one of the silver ones. I always thought they were super cool, and so this one he said was in pretty dang good condition, and it looks 
in really good condition. It includes two mags. I think one of these he said works, one of them doesn't. This looks like it was a silver one that came with this one. And then this is like another black one. And so we traded this. I can't remember exactly what we traded. Like I said, I trade um, so many things that it's kind of hard to remember what exactly I traded for. But he gave me this, and then he gave me a real TLR1. I lied. It wasn't a TLR1. It was one of the Surefire um, X300s. He said he bought this new, I think. It does look like it's pretty heck of used, but I believe this is real. I trust him. He's someone I've worked with quite a few times and is legit. He said he took the batteries out. Um, for shipping so it does feel like there's not batteries and then he also included a magnifier in here as well he said you're just throwing this in he's a really cool dude i trade with him a lot off hop up good dude also these are probably my two favorite pistols on the market tokyo marine high kappas and then elite force 1911s two of my favorite and some of the highest quality pistols in my opinion up next this is actually from a dude i believe he's in pittsburgh and he like made me he's really cool he's really artistic so there's the bb's there alec mac one on one open here um i bought this also off craigslist he said he watched my videos which i thought was really cool i'm always pretty humble when guys are like when i message them like hey i'm interested in buying a gun they're like yo i know who you are and i'm like man that's sweet just cool to see i appreciate how he did this this just looks cool gmp m4 stubby killer i'm always in the market for gmp stuff i think they're awesome um this was kind of a package and he wrote me a letter too try not to rip it dang dear alec i'm a big fan i watch all your videos thank you for buying my gun i'm glad to know that it will be i have a good home Slash owner, I love the gun, but I'm getting into speed soft and switching to a lighter HPA platform. I feel that. That's my brother all the way. Sure shot midget. Wait, wait, wait. The gun gave me some trouble lately as the wiring, I think, has been broken. As he mentioned over text, but it's nothing. Uh, you of all the people can't can fix it. Um, other than that, it's an awesome gun. I'm not a tech. Like, I do not know how to fix this stuff. Sure shot midget will probably fix it because he's who I go to. P.S. Did my best to pad the gun. The site needs a cap battery thingy. Golden Speed Softer is his YouTube, so shout out to him. Um, super cool, thanks for that. I always love getting letters, like I said. But let's open this baby up. Alrighty, got most of it off. It's actually interesting, he said he's a Speed Softer and he's trying to get rid of this gun, because these, I remember when I started playing like indoor for the first time, or like close quarters, these are some of the best guns. This would be a really good platform to HPA. I'm sure he's probably like doing some sort of custom build though, so I'm glad to be able to give him cash. This is cool, it says Prey Psalm <laughs> Aspers. But this, man, this is a cool little thing I love. This is like the old school zombie killer bodies and it's in really good condition. See the zombie logo there, I'll show you guys in some close-ups. Um, got the skull frog style. Man, I think remember the GB skull frog, the first stubby gun I ever built was so cool, but this is a nice stock too. Real high quality. He included some externals in here as well. The red dot, some sort of jank retro um, aim point it looks like, and then two vertical or KSC style vertical grips. And then he also threw in the magazine, I think it's the standard high cap, and then this must have been the other barrel because there's a system of type bore in there. Thanks, dude. Always appreciate it, like I said. I know you're watching this video, so thanks. It is finally time. I've been teasing these, but I have come out with merch. So for the giveaway today, I'm going to be doing three Alec Mac one on hoodies. You can pick any color, any size. I have like 13, 14, 15 different colors. This is the dark blue with the logo. This is the light blue. I hope my little cousins aren't watching this because they are 9 and 11. I bought these smalls for them for their birthday. But I've had like 50 friends or family buy these so far, so I'm super hyped. I'm going to start releasing them slowly to you guys as subscribers. If you want in on the friend and family discount, I'm doing it for a little bit cheaper. I'm going to pay you guys the shipping and stuff. Um, you can message me, but I'm going to do a giveaway. So anyone, all you have to do to win this is to comment on this video. Anything you want, like Alec Mac one one you're lit. Um, you have to follow me on Instagram, so tag your Instagram if you comment like, oh, that was a sweet unboxing, at Alec underscore McLean is my personal, at Alec Mac one and one is my YouTube Instagram. Um, and then you have to follow one of those, you don't even have to follow both, but if you want to follow my personal and my Airsoft Instagram, if you follow one of those and you're subscribed to my channel, I can check both of those and you comment something, I'll pick three of those comments and those three I'll buy any hoodie you want, I'll ship it to you, any color. Um, any version. I do have the more expensive versions that are the premium ones, so I will ship you one of the regular ones. If you want to pay 10 bucks more or whatever, you can get one of the premium ones. But I think these are going to be 30 and I think the premium ones are going to be 40 but that's a pretty good deal because I think I bought one of the regular ones. I think I spent like 46 45 with shipping from one of my favorite YouTubers. His name's Adrenal Addiction. Does a lot of flip, clip, clip jumping, lots of sweet stuff. I bought one of his hoodies. I thought it was great. It's one way I can support him. I don't make a ton of money off these. I think I get like per hoodie you guys buy i think i get a free chipotle burrito is kind of how it figures up so every hoodie i buy is a chipotle burrito i like to equate a lot of things in chipotle burritos because i think that's a really good way for money um, because that's something i consume probably too much of 
Um, but I'm super hyped for these. I'm going to release these in the fall. I will have t-shirts. I will have hoodies. I will have the premium hoodies. I will also pay, possibly have crew necks and stuff. So if you want one um, and you want to get on the friends and family stuff, I'm going to do a photo shoot at the youth conference I'm attending next week with all the stuff. And then I will probably do like a product video there as well. And then I will release them to the public in the fall. They will start showing up in the bottom of my videos for Teespring merch shelf. So if you're watching this like six months later, they'll probably already be there. Um, but I figure hoodies are kind of something that is a good way to start. And those will be something like, it's like 80 degrees outside so i'm sweating wearing this um, this is the one that i got for my dad um but you guys are awesome i i love that you guys if you've gotten through all 40 minutes of this comment uh love you l-u-v-y-u or something um i will like i try and read every single comment on any of my videos um you guys should know that because i like it or favorite it or respond to it but i appreciate you guys a ton you're the reason i keep doing these videos and i just can't thank you guys enough maybe this video will get a million views if it does thanks jesus thanks you guys um i appreciate all of you guys i appreciate being able to do this I'll leave for a month go lead a ministry team it was an awesome opportunity i love it I think some of my kids are watching this too, so I love you guys. Um, but this is the end of this video, and I will be hitting you up with hopefully more videos soon. I got a lot planned. Um, it's just a little bit harder because I kind of got asked last minute to leave that trip, and so I didn't have a ton of stuff planned while I was gone. I couldn't upload because we didn't have Wi-Fi and stuff. But I appreciate you guys a ton. This has been Alec Mac 101. I'll see you guys later.